Hello Rocket fans and welcome back to this weekly workshop review from Copenhagen Suborbitals. It is very important that you take a seat for this one because what you're about to see in here is life changing. After more than 6 hours of continuous runtime last weekend, our CNC plasma cutter has cut almost all the necessary parts for an intertank section that will soon become the first structure of Spica's airframe. Taking life one step closer to leaving this planetary shell purely through passion, sharing and will. We should get moving on to the long seam welder, which was not only finished assembling, but then also got disassembled again to receive a fresh layer of paint. After that, it's really only missing a control box for the motors before it starts welding different speaker sections. We also managed to fix one of our lathes where a gear that moves the slide via the hand wheel had a few broken teeth. We're left with its reassembly just as the engine on the DSC rip. Adrian worked on stiffening up his RCS test rig to raise its resonance frequency for less interference when measuring thrust. And we also had a first glimpse of the space capsule's inflated uprighting bags for Mads, who also tested how a spliced Kevlar parachute line would compare to a spliced paracord one. Turns out Kevlar is not only more expensive, but also less prone to breaking. Now he got help from Casper who was visiting us and who you might know as Stanley Creative from all the amazing rocket graphics that we have been sharing lately. They are part of his virtual reality experience that will enable you to compare and experience various rockets right in front of you. So you can follow his development on Patreon or social media if you feel that's exciting just like we do. Those will be linked in our video description below where you can also find a link to our merch store if the weather is getting cold or hot for you. That is all we have for today, so thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Copenhagen Suborbitals is a non-profit all-volunteer project. The reason we are getting so close to reaching space on our speaker rocket is because all of our crowdfunding supporters. If you've been following this project and feel passionate about new ways of exploring space and building rockets, you can help us out by going over to our website www.copsub.com and becoming a supporter with a small monthly or one-time donation that helps us pay workshop rent and buy materials. And in return, you get all these insider videos on building a space program which you don't really get anywhere else. So on behalf of everybody at Copenhagen Suborbitals, thank you for your support and we'll see you next time.